Yo guys, my name is Zolpreem and today's video I'll be talking about the TV show Frequency and season 2 of Frequency and what I want to see. So guys, as you may know, Frequency the TV show is a CW TV show, it was on last year, ending on a cliffhanger and if you don't actually watch Frequency, you know, I do recommend it, it's a very good TV show, um, one of the most underrated ones on the CW in my opinion and if you've not actually finished watching frequency then be warned this does contain mild spoilers to the season finale and a bit throughout the season and yeah if you do watch it and you're not up to date then click off this video go watch it then come back and yeah anyway guys in today's video i'll be talking about frequency season two and what i want to see so guys Season 2 of Frequency, what I personally want to see is more of Raimi's best friend, Gordo. And in the past and present, as Gordo was not really the biggest of characters. He was in it, sm he was like in it small, he wasn't really in that much. And when he was in it, he was in it for about max a minute or two. And didn't really make any, he wasn't really significant to the, the storyline. And to the end of the season, or literally the last episode, Raimi did actually change something, and that made him, it made be Gordo, instead of quitting university, uh, actually go back and or stay on university, and keep going, and then become a lawyer. So now, guys, Gordo is indeed a lawyer now. So that could actually help in many ways, as Gordo could become more of a character in season 2, and he could help Raimi when it comes to like the law, or if she ever goes to court, or something like that, as in my opinion, I think they are planning to make Gordo more of a main character in the next season, and I actually also want to see him in the past as well, maybe more interactions with Frank, maybe with Ra Raimi's mother, maybe even with Raimi, as we, only, we saw him in the past for about like a few seconds which is a bit annoying as i do want to see everyone that is in that was in the past in the past like i want to see more of gordo the same amount of, from frank obviously because he's the main character in the past i think they've done right with how much they, we sh they show of raimi in the past and yeah i do want to see more of gordo as he, in my opinion he's a, he's a good character i want to see him progress more so also i actually want to see more action in the present day like more gunfights maybe Raimi gets into some trouble with Nightingale Killer and you know it's a face off Um, I do want to see more of that I don't think we're going to actually see Raimi come face to face with the Nightingale Killer for some while if, if season two does happen as it happened in season one where we actually never saw the identity of the Nightingale Killer and just left us guessing who it could be which, you know, it was, it was good, you know, they did the storyline pretty well, and hopefully it gets renewed for season two. You know, to be honest, it's one of those TV shows where you either have, like, a f you have only a few characters, a few people, like, there's not many characters in a TV show, kind of lose fat, and it's a good thing, it's not always the bad thing, because you don't want to get oversaturated full of characters, and each individual one, you know, has an important part to the TV show, and that's why I think Gordo should more should have more of a part as there's not many characters in frequency and if they add him to like a more of a main role you know it'd be great and yeah if they're gonna add characters add only a few more like one or none at all as you don't want to oversaturate a tv show that's kind of based around a few characters and two mainly you know hopefully in the by the end of season two raimi gets frank back as well as her mother which is going to be absolutely crazy even if they're not together in the present or they are, I still want to see them together, because the season one finale, the last few scenes, it made me, it was a sad, it was sad, like, kind of a happy, because I don't want to spoil anything, like, too much, I'm going to say, it made you think something, and then something else, and something good happened, and I was like, oh my god, yes, like, it was relieving, it was, it was amazing, the season finale was really good. Frequency last year was by far one of the most underrated TV shows, as I said before. But um, one thing to expect that it's not linked in with the Arrowverse because you know there there are too many Arrowverse TV shows, and there's going to be another one, Black Lightning. So this is not Arrowverse 
connected it's just it's standalone kind of thing so don't expect any superhero action or crossovers maybe the crossovers with the tv mini tv shows like riverdale or something but nothing else like that and yeah i believe if they do make a season two it'll be the last season as there's nowhere else really that can go um you know if there was going to be more seasons then it would be with more a new character and a new roster of characters like well it happened again but with different characters and yeah it'd probably be a new story completely new story and yeah guys this is just what i want to see from frequency season two if it happens and it was a really good tv show and i think if season two goes well it can be up there with the best cw tv shows up there with arrow flash and all that so guys i did hope you liked this video and i do recommend watching frequency as the first season ended last year like in november or october so it might start quite late like in the winter again so you know hopefully they bring out a trailer or a teaser trailer for the next season that'd be epic and yeah i do recommend going watching frequency as soon as you can there's only 13 episodes so it's not too many i finished it within a week so it's pretty simple you can finish it in with probably about four or five days and yeah, my name's Zolpreme. You guys have been the best, as always. Peace out.